Hello to all you fantastic and wonderful people. I hope everybody's fine and well and having a great day. I'm Craig, this is Really Random Reviews, and in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at this K3 mechanical keyboard by Zulang. To be honest, Zulang sent me a couple of mice a few months ago, and they were absolutely terrible. So I wasn't holding out any hope for this keyboard. However, it has impressed me, and at this price point, I think it's pretty good. It costs $34.99 in the UK at the time of recording, and I'll leave links in the description as always. So with that being said, let's jump right into the video. So as you can see, it comes in this typical keyboard sleeve type box, and we've got a picture of the other colors available on the back. When we open up the box here, we're straight away met with the quick start guide with the Zulang logo. We won't be using that right now. And then we have the USB A to C cable. This looks like it's quite a decent length, actually. It's a shame it's plastic. I would much prefer a braided one. The white cables are preferred over your generic black ones, especially when the keyboard itself is white. Then we have a generic plastic keycap puller. This is just your typical keycap puller. It should work just fine. And then we have the keyboard itself. The keyboard has a little bit of weight to it. It actually feels like a premium board. It does have an aluminium back plate, so that would explain the extra weight. And I've got to be honest, I really like the look of this. I like the matte finish on the keys, and I think the green slash blue really suits it. It looks quite smart. Speaking of the keys, they sound and feel really nice and smooth and responsive. The spacebar has stabilizers, which is always nice to see. And all of the keys sound really good. There is one or two, I think the delete and maybe the larger shift key, they have a slightly different sound to them, but other than that, the keys sound really good. Onto the back of the keyboard then, we've got this nice grooved design all across the back there. We've got four rubber feet, and then we've got two actual fold-out feet. Now, these snap and lock into place, and again, they've got the rubber pads on, so that should prevent any slippage, and they feel very sturdy. They are two-tier, so that gives you three positions. You can either have the keyboard flat on the desk, or slightly raised at the back in position one, or raised a little further in position two. And on the far back side of the keyboard, then, we've got the USB port. This is a Type-C, and it is slightly right of center. I do wish it was further to the left, but it's okay, it's not a deal killer for me. The overall feel of this keyboard and the build quality is actually quite impressive, considering it's less than £40. So let's go ahead and use that keycap puller and take a look at the switches and the actual keycaps. So as you can see, the keycaps are double injected, so that means they'll never fade away, and they are clear enough to allow the RGB to shine through. Typical of most premium keyboards these days, it's what you would like to see. And we have a red switch there, it doesn't feel lubricated, but they are nice and smooth. And you could always customise things further if you wanted to with the lubrication or the dampening of the keycaps. I'm not entirely sure if these switches are hot swappable or not, but again, if you really wanted to, it could still be done. Let's take a look at the RGB then, there's 9 RGB settings and you hold the FN key and the insert key. Each time you press this, this will change the RGB mode into the next one. It's pretty basic and the rainbow mode other than the one that's on screen right now is static, but it does look pretty bright and vibrant and looks fantastic in the dark. I'm just gonna cycle through the nine RGB settings then so you can see each of them, and then we'll do a little montage and I'll give you my final thoughts.
Okay, so with all things being considered, I would describe this keyboard as an affordable full-size keyboard. It's trying to be a premium board by including the typical features you would expect to see. It works really well on a whole, there's no issues or connection issues or anything like that. Some of its main features include spacebar stabilizers, it has a white aluminium backplate so it's a little weighty and the white reflects the RGB quite well. Double injected keycaps, basically the legends will never wear away. The keycaps are also suspended so the suspended means they are staggered, it's for ease of use and for comfort. They are also red mechanical switches, they are modular after doing some research, I do believe they are in fact hot swappable. There's 9 RGB modes which all work pretty well and are quite bright and vibrant and the whole keyboard feels really durable as advertised. For $34.99 I think it's pretty good. I like to use full size keyboards when I'm editing for the arrow keys and stuff like that and I prefer to use the 60% keyboards for gaming. After using this for a few days I found it very comfortable and easy to use and like I said there's no faults whatsoever. I'm going to give it 4 stars out of 5, it would get 5 stars but for the USB cable being a white plastic and the port being on the right hand side. My final complaint being the caps lock and number lock, the lights are on the right hand side underneath the USB port, I prefer them to be on the keys themselves. It does lose a few score points there for those reasons. If you're looking for a new keyboard and don't fancy paying in the hundreds for some of these really expensive branded ones and you're just looking for an entry level keyboard then this is ideal. I'll link it in the description as always, I'm not linked to Zulang in any way, shape or form, this is just my personal experience. Thank you very much to each and every one of you guys for watching, and if you made it this far or found any part of this video helpful, please go ahead and leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel with your notifications on, that way you never miss any future videos. Take care of yourselves and each other, and until next time, I'm Craig, this is Really Random Reviews, and I'll see you in my next video.